Hi, it's Cindy, and I have a tutorial for you on how I made my uh, polished envelopes from wallpaper samples. So when I cut the wallpaper out of the book, I ended up with, these are the short uh, pieces. The, the other ones were considerably wi wider. Um, yeah. And so what I did with these shorter ones is I folded them in half, and I figured by, you know, I just took a piece of scrap paper. This was actually paper that I used to ink on and whatnot. I buy those um, drawing pads from, or sketch pads, or whatever, doodle pads from the Dollar Tree, and I cut it to approximately the same width. It's a little narrower, but that's fine because then you get longer flaps to glue from and that makes it easier to do. And I just folded it in half until it overlapped. And then I, so as I was working from here, I, you know, sort of figured out where the overlap would be, creased that down, and then I started fooling around with what would become my flaps to get the angles right and whatnot. I wanted a deeper flap at the top and, and then at the bottom because this one's permanent. And this is the one that will get the little stringy thingies in. So that was my template. And then I traced that onto another piece of wallpaper. And this is actually going to be my permanent template. That paper one wouldn't last very long. But this is the one that I'll use all the time. So, um, yeah, I would just lay this down on the paper. I would line up one end. Um... Trace it around real quickly with my pencil. Easy peasy to do that. Just, you know, like that all the way around. That's not right, but you know what I mean. Um, and then cut them out. And folding them in half like this, you can actually cut out two at a time. I discovered with making the larger envelopes that I could stack three or four pieces of wallpaper together and make three or four at a time, too. So... Um, and it stays together very nicely in your hand. It's not a floppy paper, so that's easy enough to do. So I cut two out when I cut out that template. So here's my extra piece that I cut out. I just, you know, lap these over, put white glue. I just use um, tacky glue. It's my glue of choice. Um, so I just, you know, applied glue to this edge, laid it over. Applied glue here, laid it over, and then it was just a matter of cutting out um, the bits and pieces for these little windy-uppy things. I bet there's a word for those, but I don't know what they are. So I took a scrap of paper, and I used my half-inch punch and my little uh, quarter-inch punch, and I punched out four of the half-inch and eight of the, the quarter inch, I actually think it's a bit closer to three eighths of an inch, but anyway, and I glued the, the t two of the um, half inch ones together, wrong side spacing, and that was kind of stiff and that was okay, but I wanted it to have some distance from the paper so that you could wind the string around, so I glued together four of the little ones and glued them to the center of the um, half inch one. And then I used my crocodile on the little hole, wind it up there to the center, popped a hole in it, and that one just shifted and I messed it up. You can see I messed it up, but you get the idea. I actually do it right, obviously, when the ones that work. So I, I let's see if I can try that again. And then I dug out some eyelets. Yeah, that one's better. There, see? That one actually works. Um, and I think I discovered, yes, I did. I actually discovered that it's better to use the large hole because the small hole eyelets aren't very secure in the wallpaper. Um, I ended up having to glue the heck out of them with glossy accents. And even then, I worry that they'll pop off at some point where when I used the bigger ones, um, the crocodile really folded back the edges of the eyelet better. 
um, and it's, you know, it's properly folded under. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just centered it up on this, on this lower flap, on the top flap, rather, and put that on there with an eyelet. Here, I actually did it, um, before I glued it all the way, I actually applied this one to the flap, and then I glued it down. So, um, yeah, that's really the better way for that to work. And then I just tied the string around when I got it um, attached. And I secured that with a little bit of glue before I pulled it tight. And, it, and, and then there you have it. Um, they're really pretty. And it's so easy to make. So I hope you try it. Please um, leave a comment below if you like this video. And like the video, and please subscribe to my channel and come back. Thank you.